Are you wondering if you should neuter your male Boston Terrier? In this video, I actually sat down and talked with Dr. Reinhardt, and she walks us through basically the pros and cons of getting your Boston Terrier neutered, as well as cost and much more. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews like the one today, or just connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of BostonTerrierSociety.com, and over there is Bella, my Boston of over 10 years, and this video is completely irrelevant to her. She's a female. And today, what I want to do is there are a lot of people in the community asking, you know, when should I neuter my Boston Terrier? What's the process like? So I decided to bring on Dr. Reinhardt to answer all of your questions. If you have a specific question, be sure to check the show notes just because I put timestamps so you can jump to the question that's more relevant to you. Without further ado, Dr. Reinhardt, thank you so much for coming on the show. Hey, Donnie. Thanks again for having me back on the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Can you tell us just a little bit about what are the pros and cons of getting a male Boston Terrier neutered? There are some pros and cons of neutering. Let's first start with some of the pros. Neutering removes the risk of pregnancy. So if you don't want puppies, neutering is the smart thing to do. Also, there is a big problem right now with pet overpopulation. And there's a lot of animals in shelters that are unable to get homes because we're just having too many animals that are having puppies. Another pro to neutering may be reducing unwanted sexual behaviors like pumping and roaming. And then it also reduces the risk of testicular cancer because you are removing the testicles. The cons is that you're not gonna be able to breed your dog. So if you're interested in breeding, you probably shouldn't get your dog neutered. Unfortunately, the risk of prostate cancer and bladder cancer also goes up in dogs that are neutered. Okay, as far as age, like what is the best age or age range to actually get your Boston Terrier neutered? I usually recommend neutering between six and 12 months of age. If you do it around six months of age, you'll be less likely to get those unwanted sexual behaviors that you might see as they age. When should a pet parent actually make the decision on getting their Boston neutered? It's never too late to get a Boston Terrier neutered. I've had some patients that are 14 years and older that I have neutered. I usually recommend neutering your dog if you don't plan on breeding, as this will prevent some of those unwanted behaviors seen in unneutered males and also prevent the risk of testicular cancer. Now, what is the process as far as the procedure whenever someone, you know, do you just drop your Boston Terrier off in the morning, kind of like a dental cleaning? Can you just walk me through the neutering process and what that procedure looks like? Because neuters are done under anesthesia, usually you're gonna to have to drop your pet off in the morning and leave them for the day. So remember to pull any food the night before and not feed anything after midnight the morning of the surgery so that you fast your pet before the surgery and anesthesia. After dropping your pet off, they're gonna get some sedative drugs to make them a little sleepy and then full anesthesia for the procedure. The procedure itself only takes about 20 to 30 minutes. And then after your pet wakes up from anesthesia, they're gonna stay monitored in the recovery area for a few hours until they're awake enough to go home. Usually most vets allow pets that get neutered to go home the same day in the evening. Okay, let's say, you know, now my Boston Terrier is neutered. What does the recovery process look like? Like, do I have to take care of the incisions? Can you just shed some light on that? Recovery usually takes a few days to a little over a week. Usually after a day or two, your dog's gonna want to resume normal activity. But after getting neuter, I really recommend keeping your dog quiet for about a week. This may mean keeping them in a crate so they don't run around the house like crazy or jump on the furniture. And you may also have to leash walk them for that week so they don't run and jump in the yard. The goal is to keep them as quiet as possible. They don't damage their incision or develop any kind of hematomas after surgery. After a week, you can start to reintroduce normal exercise. And as far as the incision goes, um, you just wanna take a look at it about once a day for about 10 to 14 days after surgery. You're gonna look for any signs of excessive swelling, oozing, or foul odor. It's a, a normal for the incision to be a little red or a little swollen, but if the, the incision doesn't look quite right, then it's good to consult with your vet. Usually post-op infections develop in the week or two after surgery. That's why it's important to monitor your incision every day after surgery for that first week. You typically don't need to actively clean the incision and you don't want to get the incision wet as this may delay healing. So be sure not to bathe for about a week or two after surgery. 
Well, this next question I really think is a big one. And I think this is probably the number one reason why, I don't know, I believe people actually get their dog neutered. But will it actually calm their dog down? Like, will it calm a Boston Terrier down? And will it stop them from marking? If you're hoping your Boston slows down after being neutered, uh, you'll likely be disappointed. Neutering typically does not calm down excitable dogs. When we neuter, we're taking away the hormone testosterone as well. So with less testosterone, you're likely going to see less urine marking um, or peeing on things. But absence of testosterone doesn't typically cause dogs to magically become more calm. Okay, the other big thing that I've seen online is people saying, you know, after they get their dog neutered, that the personality changes and everything. Um, is this the case? You know, if somebody gets their Boston Terrier neutered, will their personality be affected? Dog's behavior typically doesn't change after being neutered. The most behavior changes that you may see are decrease in sexual behaviors like humping of objects or other dogs or people. Male dogs that are neutered also have less desire to wander away uh, because those behaviors are influenced by the uh, presence of testosterone in the system. When testosterone is absent, those behaviors will likely diminish. And there's mixed evidence on whether a neutered male will be less aggressive. Uh, some dogs that are neutered may become less aggressive, but other dogs may maintain the same level of aggressiveness uh, after being neutered. Hey, I just want to take a minute to pause and say thank you so much for watching this video. If you're getting value out of this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel just so you can get other videos like this from Boston Terrier Society. Otherwise, let's get back to the show. Now, as far as cost, could you just give me a ballpark as far as what it would cost to have my Boston Terrier neutered? Typically, the average cost to neuter a Boston runs between two and $400. And this price is going to vary based on a few different factors. Uh, if pre-anesthetic blood work is ran, this will raise the price of the bill. And also, if they put an IV catheter and fluids during the surgery, this will also raise the price of the bill. There are some low-cost clinics that may do the procedure for less than $200, but you could be sacrificing quality and individualized care for price. Now, somebody's watched this entire video and everything, and they're like, okay, I want to get my male Boston Terrier neutered. What would be the next step? Do they just contact their vet? What does that look like? If you're interested in neutering your Boston Terrier, the next step is to speak with your veterinarian. They're going to be able to provide you an estimate for the procedure, and they can walk you through any specific steps that they might have in their veterinary clinic for neutering. Okay, well, thank you so much, Dr. Reinhardt, for coming on the show again. I think this has been very helpful, and hopefully the answer pretty much everybody's questions before they actually go speak with their vet about whether or not they should neuter their Boston Terrier. Thanks, Donnie, for having me on the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. I've enjoyed speaking with you about neutering and Boston Terriers. Once again, thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure to subscribe if you want the latest videos from Boston Terrier Society. If you want more health-related videos related to Boston Terriers, you can check out that playlist here, or you can check out one of my other latest videos here. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston.